Hello YouTube. In this video we're going to be showing you another anti-pillager weapon video. So we're going to show you how to design and build deadly traps to protect your village here. Right now we're in the creative world where we have um, adopted and then have uh, constructed uh, traps around this uh, village. So. Uh, let me show you the first part in uh, protecting this uh, village is that you're going to have to build a bunch of walls around it. So these walls will prevent the villagers from escaping and allow you to protect it from any uh, enemy invaders. So you have a layer of stairs and then a gap between that and the glass pane wall. And this will allow you to attack the enemy by shooting at their feet and this prevents them from shooting you uh, because of that uh, gap they can't uh, really uh, shoot you that well if you're standing uh, behind those stairs so let me show you the uh, next trap here this is a soul sand with packed ice underneath it it will act as a slowing trap since the pillagers are pretty fast. And then over here we have this protecting the uh, gates. So the uh, next trap design here has a bunch of dispensers with stone plates right next to them. And then that's going to activate the fire trap underneath. And then to the uh, side here, we have a bunch of dispensers with splash potions. Uh, we have poison here. We also have potions of harming over here. So this will kill large groups of enemies that try to cross this bridge. So let me show you how this works here in action. I'm going to set up a uh, villager bait. And then over here, we're going to set a bunch of pillagers upon them. So the fire, poison, and the harming will kill large amounts of them. Uh, fire is pretty easy to set up. Potions might be a little bit harder to set up depending on your progress in the survival world. But uh, we do have a simple trap over here where we're going to use the bait again. And then we're going to put in a bunch of pillagers over here. And just like most mobs, uh, they get trapped by these boats and they can't move. So let me show you how that works here. So right now they are trapped and then we can snipe them easily from the wall. So moving over here, we do have your simple water trap, uh, which acts as a uh, moat around the entire city. So pillagers are not that good at walking across water. So this will push them up onto the uh, next trap over here. And that's the uh, lava trap connected by these redstone circuitry. And then the lava will kill the uh, pillagers. So the way it works is that uh, underneath the lava flow, we have a bunch of stone plates, uh, which will create a pocket of air. So let me show you how to uh, make this uh, moat here. It might be a little bit difficult, but um, I'm going to set it up uh, like this. And then using glass panes and a uh, sign, you're going to um, put the water on top of this guy here. Break the uh, sand block. And then in the uh, middle, you're going to set this up here. And that will allow you to move the full uh, six blocks. 
and then you just uh, repeat this unit here throughout the uh, entire wall. Okay. Uh, so over here we have more uh, stone uh, plates uh, connected by lava dispensers and then over here is one of my favorites. This is a uh, wall trap with a uh, bunch of lava here on the side and then uh, using sticky pistons and the redstone circuitry this will uh, push you against the side. So let me uh, cover this up here and then uh, show you how this is used. I'm going to use a bunch, a, a bait here. And this will push the uh, pillagers into the lava trap. Okay, very good. So moving along here, we have more lava traps, and then we have a iron golem uh, sentry. Uh, so this guy will distract the uh, pillagers. If they get too close, they're going to get hit. But for the most part, uh, this guy is here to distract them while you uh, shoot them on top of the wall. Okay, very good. So moving along here. We have one of the last traps here. This is a error, uh, a machine gun turret, which shoots out a bunch of arrows in a quick time. Let me show you how to uh, make this guy here. So I did see this uh, on a YouTube video. So what you do is that you create a, a T with the uh, dispensers. And then right underneath this guy, you put one redstone dust. And then you're going to connect that to the uh, rest of the turrets here by setting this uh, structure up here and putting redstone torches right underneath those blocks. So that one guy will po power up all four of the dispensers. And then to control this, you put a lever at the uh, Let me show you how this uh, works here in action. Now, right now we do have a uh, ice trap here and then we have a bait along the wall here. So let's uh, spawn these guys in. Now it does take some uh, time um, if you have a bunch of arrows, uh, this trap is very uh, useful. So, moving along here, uh, we have a um, water moat uh, that uh, goes down into the uh, pit trap. And then over here, we have this uh, gate protected by boats so that we can uh, snipe them on top here. And then over here, another uh, water trap connected by lava, and then uh, more uh, iron golem sentries. Okay, so we're going to show you how this uh, entire system works with a bunch of traps in the second part of the video. We're going to be doing this on hard mode here, but the battle may be edited. Huh. Okay, here we go. All right, they're over there by the corner trap. Looks like they're killing themselves from the lava. wave.
unfortunately, we do not know where they're coming from. Alright, over there. Where are these sentries? the rest of them. Alright. Alright, here comes the next wave. Up there. Shoot me. Alright, where's the last one? Healing. Okay, next wave. There, by the boat. Hello, Venus. Okay, so far pretty good. Most of our traps are doing damage, or they're stopping them in their tracks. So let's continue with the uh, waves. And here they are. Buddy, you are way too slow in the water. There we go. Okay, next wave. There they are. The by the water trap. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. So that will be the conclusion to this uh, Minecraft video. Um, thank you for your patience with this uh, long video. But I hope you guys learned something new with uh, all the uh, traps that we showed you. So that you can uh, use that in your survivor world. But um, thank you for watching again guys. And uh, enjoy your day.